Well, my role is I am FBI agent McIntyre. I'm also one of the executive producers. So I uh, came out here and I, I had a blast, let me tell you. And it's been it's been a whirlwind right now, you know? Nice. So speaking of producers, I, I found this year at South by Southwest, there's a lot of a more. lot more focus on the producers this year. And um, whereas there's always focus on the actors and the directors, I found that... Uh, that this is happening this year. Can you little, can you comment a little bit on that? Wow, you know what? I, I really didn't realize that, but you know what? Let me make an educated guess. How about that? Um, I'm thinking that nowadays with the way the film industry is going, maybe they're finally giving more recognition to producers yeah. and being like, hey, you know what? We need help to make these films possible. And they're finally saying, hey, you know what? These are the guys that are also helping us make this film. You know, we can't do it by ourselves. We need producers. We need people money. So let's let's give them some rec- recognition. Right. I, I, Speculation, of course, but that, that's my best guess. I'll be honest with you. And what was it like to uh, work on this film, uh, especially here at Troublemaker Studios? Oh, wow. It was it was great. I mean, when I flew in and, and I met Tara for the first time, I mean, we had Zoom meetings, but it's always something different when you when, when you meet somebody in person. The big hugs come out, and you're like, oh, my gosh. And I, it just felt like family. You know, you just felt comfortable. And, and being an actor uh, in, in the film with all these other actors that are just open and just like, hey, how you doing? And uh, it was it was amazing. I'll be honest with you. It was really a good time. And we shot it during COVID. So, you know, you had your little limitations there. So you had to be careful. But other than that, it was it was fantastic, to be honest with you. So what do you hope the audience would take uh, home with them when they watch uh, Switch Up? I'll tell you what. I just saw it today for the first time. And man, um <laughs> I'll be honest, man. It, it, it made me laugh. It, it made me cry. Um, it was a wonderful journey uh, watching Christian and, and, and Juliet to do do their thing with the act. It was amazing. Um, I did. I, I think I cried twice during it. I shed a tear. I was trying to hide it. You know, you got to be a man. He's in He's in a homeless shelter. You know, and then I think he finally gets a little taste of reality when he when he's living and hanging out with the shelter, realizing, you know what, there's more to life than just money and material goods. And I, I it was a wonderful journey. I really I really honestly enjoyed it. I really did. Um, I play the role of Ty uh, in the movie that my uh, my sister is um, is Juliet and she is the uh, you know, her character is, is our leading lady. And um, and becomes the romantic love interest of uh, of our of our Christian character, and um, during the movie, you know, um, for those haven't who haven't who will get a chance later on to see Switch Up, the um, our character goes from rags to riches, and um, when he finally hits rock bottom, he finds himself uh, in a homeless shelter, and um, that homeless shelter is, I run the homeless shelter. So um, very um, heartwarming story deals with a lot of issues that we're dealing with here in America, mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, broken families and poverty and stuff like that. Yeah. And, but we still try and um, uh, keep a sensitivity level with for our um, our our, our storyline and also just to just to keep everything relatable. Mm-hmm. And it's funny. I mean, this is the movie's labeled as a rom com, but there's sure. a lot of, there's a lot of layers to be peeled with yes. this film. Yeah, there is, you know, like every every story has that, you know, you uh, switch up is, you know, has a lot of messages, you know, like I said, it goes from rags to riches, but also, you know, just dealing with, you know, we shot this film in Brownsville, Texas, and that's a border town. It's a very poor town. Um, most people don't even know about Brownsville, Texas uh, until like Elon Musk got there, you know, and um, uh, and because of that, you know, a lot of. Uh, Spanish culture, a lot of heritage there. You know, people are very genuine, but still dealing with life circumstances that are, you know, sometimes just impossible for the normal person to live with. You know, and and um, so I think Switch Up in in its, in its messages gives an opportunity to uh, for for audience members to just go on a journey and see what it's like to really go through these experiences of of, of homelessness and 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 also in a comedic way. Mm-hmm. And uh, as I was talking to a fellow gentleman before, yeah. this was a very family-based uh, uh, film. Yes. You guys, you guys worked really well as a community, and worked really well with the director. Of course, uh, talked about talk about that. Yeah, yeah. You know, Tara Pernia, She's um, you know she's our lead girl. She's our director and writer. And um, you know, we have uh, a couple writers on this one. But you know, Tara lives and breathes uh, Switch Up. 
and once she picked this project up um, I think as of today it's been three years in the making mm-hmm. um, and because of her hard work and blood sweat and tears she finally got it to delivery and um, you know that says a lot I mean for audiences who want to see a, a story that's told you know with a woman female director you know giving perspective with uh, of, of, of color people of color you know um, I mean that's that says a lot in itself you know um, we don't have enough of that we don't have enough women directors and we also don't have enough uh, uh, minority being able to tell the minority stories right you know and, or, and being uh, produced by you know minority producers right. you know and yeah. being uh, you know studios being ran by you know uh, minority executives and when you get that layer from the bottom to the top you end up getting some really special stuff Tell us about your role in the film. Well, I'm one of the producers, and and also I, I get to play Ricardo, who's the lead character in the in the movie. the The whole movie is about switching up his life, about you know uh, having everything, supposedly everything, and then uh, being able to really understand the the true meaning of of life when when you get rid of the things that that you think make you happy and and you really start living the way that you you can be happy what did you learn about the character after making this film well the, you know the the it was it was a long process more more than learning from the character we produced the movie we wrote the movie we did everything from zero from nothing so part of the character was the story that we wanted to tell with tara so ricardo is a fiction created to tell this story to tell the story that how many people create characters like Ricardo like this famous guy to to protect his really his his pain or or, or his weakness in, in in order to to don't show the way he is to the world so yeah. so more than me learning from the character we created the character um so i play mclean who is uh sort of an underling sort of a fail son his his dad owns the network so he got hired to a position that he's not uh capable of doing and i think through a combination of maybe insecurity and also just wanting to make friends he decides that he's going to frame his boss for a crime so then as bad as he is at his actual job, he's even worse at, you know, committing crimes. Yeah. So then he finds himself in over his head and things all sort of spiral out of control. And uh, and that's McLean. He also falls in love with uh, Chandrella's character, Marie. You know, how could you not fall in love with Chandrella? You know, she's yeah. the goddess. <laughs> um, this is like a, a great ensemble. And it looks like uh, this is I, this film is actually a testament of, to the hard work and the obstacles you guys had to go through. Uh, yeah, talk about talk about a little bit about that of course well you know it's like any movie is going to be hard to make but this movie you know maybe as much as any movie i've ever been on really through through no fault of the you know production team it just was kind of snake bit you know and it was but i think it was just really a lesson in you have a problem you overcome the problem you know and that's what elizabeth and christian and tata and uh and the whole production team did it every step of the way, you know, like there would be a COVID shutdown, you know, someone would have to leave, a whole bunch of insane stuff happened. And at every step of the way, they managed to to keep it going, you know, and that's, I think that's the ultimate lesson that I learned from this movie is, you know, if it was easy, anyone would do it. Right. Tara, thank you so much for doing this. Um, I was talking to your cast and they, they told me that you overcome, overcame a lot of obstacles just to get this film done. Uh, tell us a little bit about that and how does it feel now to be here at South by Southwest? It feels amazing to be at South by Southwest because it's kind of full circle for me. I'm from Austin and one of my first jobs was covering South by Southwest. Right. To, so to now come here and have my di- directorial debut be here, it's amazing and both an incredible honor. Yeah. And this film is not only a rom-com, it's got a lot of layers to it. Talk a little bit about that. Well, it's a rom-com, and there's some other stuff that I don't want to give away. Yeah. But there's a good amount of comedy. We make you laugh one minute, cry the next. So good formula there. But also we want to put a bit of a spotlight on the homeless situation in America. And, you know, not only people, but also dogs. Mm-hmm. Uh, dogs that can be homeless too. Yeah. So we really wanted to, you know, in a light funny heartfelt way bring attention to a serious issue in our country 
and your your whole cast is like uh, totally like a family. Talk about that and talk about how you selected them all to become part of this <laughs> well it, actually the selection was very organic i did get we did, had great casting directors they sent me a lot of headshots a lot of audition tapes but really each one of them came from a completely different way as you know in the screening today the actor brandon who plays marcus he actually read for mclean and mclean came from a producer said hey you got to check out my friend temple so it, it wasn't the normal way you would cast a movie, mm -hmm. but I feel incredibly blessed that they all came, they all brought their A-game, and they became a family. Mm -hmm. So every day on set was just a blast. Yes. Yeah. And, of course, talk about the opportunity to work here at Troublemaker Studios. Well, that was <laughs> that was the opportunity of a lifetime. Um, I had worked with Elizabeth Avion on another film called Deadland, which is now on Amazon Prime. And it's funny, I met the lead actress, Juliet uh, Restrepo, on Deadland. Nice. And again, another organic casting. Yeah. Um, and during Deadland, you know, Elizabeth would hear that I was talking about Switch Up because Switch Up was going right after Deadland. And she said, if you ever need any help, let me know. And I was like, okay, here you go. <laughs> you're, you're hired. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. She came on and she just did an amazing job with us. And it's a master class every time, you know, you work with her. And I'm just incredible. I feel so blessed that she, you know, did this for us and was there for us. Hi, I'm Juliet Restrepo, and I play Cassie uh, in Switch Up. I am the lead in the show. I am part of this romantic comedy, and I work uh, for the community in the in the film. And I meet this guy that is just different from everything uh, and everyone I've met before. And I'm also a widow, so I am just trying to find my way uh, through love and life and friends and family. So, yeah. Um, this film is a lot about relationships and current relationships today, so uh, can you uh, maybe talk a little bit about that? I love how the movie touches base on the, uh, how we are all we are all connected, you know, like it doesn't matter if you're in a different part of the world, we're all related to the same things, and I just love that about the film, you know, like even if I'm working at the shelter and I'm working with this, like, families, and then this guy, this rich guy comes in, 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 in the story and in town with like to, to live with us, it's just how we all have something in common, how we all want to do something good for the world, and that it's not about, we're not alone in this world, it's not about us you know like we can be selfish like mm -hmm. and uh and the movie also talks about second chances right. and i think that's beautiful that's too that's very important because we all deserve a second chance and we all want one at some point in our lives uh so my character wants a second chance in love but she doesn't know how to get there right. and we've all been there yeah too, you know like even <laughs> if we didn't lose someone it's like if we if we're going to through, through a breakup we want to find love again we all yeah. find we all want to find love so so I, I i love that and i'm I'm grateful to to play cassie and i had so much fun working on the on the film talk a little bit about griselda oh what do you want to know i'm so <laughs> okay so i love the fact that people are watching griselda now it's the number one uh, on Netflix, and that's incredible. And she's the the Marta Choa, who who's the one I, I play there. It's so different from Cassie. So I love that when people watch uh, Switch Up, they're gonna watch Grisel and they're gonna feel like, oh, she's the same one. So yeah, that that's me. <laughs> just doing crazy stuff right there. But I I just love working with passionate people, mm -hmm. and I think in Switch Up and in Grisel that I found that, and I had great uh, teammates directors like amazing directors so so yeah and i didn't work in machete which is the reason why we're here but come on isn't yeah. it a, like a great honor i mean i'm i'm being part of history right now uh so so yeah I'm, i mean we're celebrating the movie here in troublemaker studios and it's just amazing how we can celebrate a cinema in the south by southwest festival and i know griselda is on tv this one is on film but you can just watch a little bit of me and the crazy stuff that i'm doing and can you tell um all the female uh my female audience what you're wearing of course <gasps> oh thank you for asking i am wearing diego guarnizo which is my good friend a colombian designer uh this is alma which is an amazing colombian designer as well and i'm just proud to like wear uh, something designed from uh, somebody from my roots, my my country. I'm from Colombia, so I'm just proud of that. I'm just gonna turn around and show you a little bit of it. 
<laughs> and just like Ugh! like that uh, but thank you for asking yeah I think it was good for South by South and it feels like casual but like party but like elegant but like fun and yeah a little bit of everything and the palm trees that goes yeah that goes well with the theme also that, that, since we shot in uh, Brownsville, Texas uh, Jeff thank you so much for doing this um, tell us about your role in the film of course um, well first of all thank you it's a pleasure to be here um, in the film Switch Up I play the character Charlie who is a homeless vet and uh, who now works and lives in the shelter. And he's, one might say that he's a bit of the uh, the moral conscious of Ricardo's character when he comes and his life goes through the changes without giving too many things away. But um, yeah, he, and he's, um, he's an old wise, if you will, um, veteran who now is helping them in the shelter work with the, the homeless people and and uh, but uh, I really don't want to give too much away because it's a beautiful beautiful film but I do want to say that um, you know I've been working in the business for 48 49 years now and you know you work on all kinds of projects big small medium yeah, that's just missed my flight <laughs> but uh, you know you've and and uh, in all different genres and every once in a while you come across a film that it's just a little gem that you're so happy to be part of and i say that because i didn't i hadn't seen the film until the screening today I and mean, of course i knew everything about the film through the editing and, and music and post-production and so on but then to see it with an audience and to be moved emotionally um, as a member of the audience uh, it's just it was it was a joy it was one of those moments that uh, in 48 years as I say it's it's one of those moments that you're proud to be part of and everyone uh, Tara the director and everyone on production Elizabeth and all the other producers and a beautiful cast wonderful talented cast uh, I'm just thrilled and happy to be part of it honestly um, I played Sophia in the film um, I got to sing, I got to dance, I got to cry a little. It was honestly an incredible experience. And tell, tell us about how you uh, learned about the role and then the audition process, of course. Um, when I got the casting, it kind of seemed like the perfect fit because yeah. they were looking for someone who like had could sing and dance, which I have a theater background. Yeah. So it was kind of like a kismet moment where I just got like the amazing chance to do this. Nice. Um, it all happened really fast. Um, this is my first time doing like a feature film like this. Right. So for me, it kind of felt like a surreal experience. I just, I go to high school here in Austin nice. and all of a sudden I was in Brownsville shooting a movie and it was like, boom, boom. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great experience, eh? It happened in the span of like a week and a half from like audition to being in Brownsville. <laughs> so uh, yeah, talk about, I, I mean, a lot of the cast must have given you great advice, especially the director, um, can you touch up on that subject? Yeah, actually, um, I found out that um, Tara actually is an alumni from the high school that I currently go to. Oh, okay. um, and I got to learn so much. Um, since I have mostly a theater background, yeah. I don't have a whole lot of experience in film acting. So while I was on set, I got a lot of great advice from Christiane and from Juliet, nice. who really like helped me kind of figure out how to create that sort of character. Um, it was really uh, such a wonderful learning experience. Hi, so I am Chandrola Avery and I play Marie. I am the executive producer of, uh, well, I, did you meet Ricardo? Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. of the, um, his, his show, I would say, on the show. On the show, I am the executive producer oh, of the, the show. show. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Have you seen the film? No, sorry, I haven't. That's so okay. You're going to see it. You're yeah, going to yeah, love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And then you'll understand my position. I'm very authoritative. <laughs> um, I've got the job done. Um, don't take much mess. And um, was very happy to do it. Um, you know what? We'll talk about like you know celebrating this film and celebrating the fact that uh, Terry's a women uh, women director, and talk about you know uh, this being on the cusp of a cusp of Happy International Women's Day. Yeah. So talk about that. Yeah. Thank you so very much. Yeah, this is something that really I would say illuminate with me because. Yeah. 
the whole production team or all the producers are all female and I'm a female producer myself I'm an executive producer in real life and I was executive producer on this project nice. as well um, and then I'm also a producer so I am such an advocate for women um, of course it's Women's History Month and the day is the 8th um, I am iconic I've given back to social awareness issues in my real life yeah. for sickle cell disease and so this film really touched me because it had the element of faith based obviously you know for people to understand that world but more important some people are still disconnected in the how um, and it wasn't preachy it was just sitting in the reality yeah. of what hope can do for you yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which is actually what Tara did do mm -hmm. you know she had a dream she hoped on it mm -hmm. her and Christian they got together right with yeah. all these other women producers and they made this happen so once I heard about their mission it became my mission because it's my personal mission in my real life. Nice. You understand what yeah, I'm saying? Absolutely. So I happen to have been the, the perfect person to play Marie, more importantly, the perfect person and producer to be a part of a journey with women. The best part about it is about being here at South by Southwest. I don't think I could have envisioned that on the outset, um, nor did I know that it was going to come out in Women's History Month. Yeah. So it's so befitting. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. so befitting. And it really just tells you about the necessity of giving back about doing something you know this film we tackle um homelessness you know people have a misconception jeff fahey's character portrays someone who had a life and his character says you know we're all one paycheck away from being in any type of situation this homeless situation is confusing for a first world country to me we're in a first world country yeah. and there should be no rhyme or reason mm -hmm. for anyone to be left behind mm -hmm. in any capacity minority anything that feels like they're being disenfranchised especially people like in this particular moment here in the film he's an ex-vet and we find that out yeah. i mean if people are fighting for the country we need to make sure that we fight for them nice. uh, you know what I, I i've experienced this here at south by southwest recently that there's a lot more recognition when it comes to producers and executive producers <laughs> rather than like the directors and sure. the actors i think there's been a misnomer when it comes to how films are being made yeah. not everything is being made today by the studios right every studio and network are not put, putting the bills so there are people like myself who may work a job here on a TV series and another feature film and I want to give back to the community of independent films right. so I had an independent film uh, when I first started called Napoleon Dynamite and that film, yes, I'm the fond of. <laughs> you didn't know that. Line. See that? Yeah, the that was the thing. Lines. The best one line. So now, you know, we're in our 20th anniversary. We just wow. celebrated at Sundance. Yeah, that's true. That's mm -hmm. true. Yeah. So that was in 2004. Yeah. So that film, um, I went to school for theater. I went to performing arts high school. It's who I am. I'm a thespian. And that film, I took it. It didn't matter about the lines. The story and it was independently done. So we knew we could step into a world where we can all help each other as artists. Yeah. And so the executive producers and producers are really not always looked upon unless you are like your A-plus stars yeah. or your studios. Yeah. But that's not happening. These, yeah. are, these are everyday, some of these people are working classmen actually that actually move the country forward. Many of these uh, executive producers are business owners, people that have a, you know, a fleet of restaurants yeah. Yeah? Yeah. that feel like they wanted to be in arts but just didn't step into it. Yeah. But don't mind tipping their toe into it to help another artist that really want their story to be told. I mean, the studio network's not going to tell every story, yeah, yeah. right? It has to fit their category, all of their affiliates and yeah. what they want as their stockholders and shareholders. But in the independent space, we can tell a story like this. Nice. Yeah. And thank God we have streaming now, yeah. you know, that allows us um, the opportunity to get it on different platforms yeah. where it's not just five or six people. Yeah. So we're just evolving and that's making more art, which gives people like myself more of an opportunity to really help out where my little coins can make a difference. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, very quickly now, how do you, how do you feel to be here at South by Southwest of course with this film? Yeah. yeah thank you for it's that. A, it's a, it's, it's a my first, it is a testament. It's a testament to your hard work. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a testament to our hard work. It's a testament to females. It's a testament to um, the spirit of independent. Now I had never been at South by Southwest. Southwest. So this is my first time here nice. and uh, I know it's more of a tech space or music and now here we are in this world of, of play. I feel so thankful. 
I mean, it's the Oscars today, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, I have friends that are there, and yeah. normally I do that thing in L.A. <laughs> but I was like, mm, there's that that happens all the time, and this, you never know when it's going to happen. Yeah, absolutely. Right? We yeah. did this film during COVID. We yeah. toiled and toiled and toiled to get here. Yeah. This was not an easy project to make. Yeah. And yet the hope that we had came out. Yeah. And so to be here now, at this moment, knowing that that hope paid off, I just thank God for that. Yeah. Yeah, I do. And I'm so proud of us. Yeah. I'm proud of Tara. I'm proud of everyone that just travailed to push through no matter what. And that's what art is. Yeah. And so if we have more people supporting independent filmmaking, they too may find themselves in South by Southwest. Because here's the thing. Not every film that's here is from the studios. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's just folks like me and this other person over here and that person there that believed in the story and put our little coins in and we just showed up as an actor as well yeah. and we double dutied yeah. and that's what this art is about yeah. for people to feel the way that they're going to feel when they see Switch Up thank you so much for your time thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you thank you thank you bless you bless you too thank you so much yeah.